Well, I saw myself as a soldier for justice, equality, but I also knew something else. I knew that this idea of a democracy does not work on cruise control. You got to keep your hands on the steering wheel and you got to steer it and you got to work at it. Atlanta has the ingredients geographically as well as intellectually and historically for being a, an, an incubator for people who want to do great things. Let's look at this in, 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 in terms of history. The abolitionists decided to fund private colleges in Atlanta. So therefore, you had, over time, an accumulation of people who were highly trained, who were training the young folks. And by the time 1960 came, they'd been doing that for almost 100 years. And so they helped form the NACP in Atlanta, the Urban League in Atlanta. So Atlanta ended up being, and it still is, the catalyst for a progressive kind of South. If I had to predict, I would predict that Atlanta is going to continue to expand, 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 expand. There's a famous philosopher who once said, there's, no, there's nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. That's what it is. That's what it is.